so welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a great day today's video is going to be all about getting waxed because I've gotten a few questions from my friends and just people in general about getting waxed um, anywhere on your body so I'm just going to share with you guys my experience tips tricks and kind of like the 411 from what I've learned along the way so if you see me looking down at my phone it's because I've taken some notes and I want to make sure that I hit these points with you guys um, in the course of this video so let's go ahead and hop into it okay so first things first a lot of people think that waxing is unnecessary or it's a luxury true it is um, you do not have to get waxed you don't have to do anything with any of your hair all over your body you don't have to shave your legs you don't have to shave your pits you don't have to shave anything you can be free do you boo boo um, but for me I don't like to be hairy I don't like to be hairy on my legs I don't like to be hairy under my pits and I just don't want to be hairy anywhere and for me it is strictly about hygiene a lot of people because I'll discuss like getting bikini waxes getting Brazilian waxes and no I'm not doing anything to where uh, anyone else would be seeing that but me but it is a strictly hygiene thing for me and it's my choice and do what you got to do to feel clean so that's why I'm sharing this information um, with you so other options for removing hair so of course they're shaving um, for many of us that's what we grew up learning to do when we have unwanted hair like shaving our legs shaving our pits things like that um, shaving is easily accessible it is the cheapest out of waxing laser hair removal um, those two options it's the cheapest it's easily accessible you can get a razor from anywhere you can get shave cream from anywhere most people do it the thing about shaving that makes it different from waxing and laser hair removal is that it only removes hair at the very top layer of the epidermis, so above the skin. So it doesn't get hair at the root, so therefore hair emerges above the epidermis relatively quickly because it's never actually grabbing the hair from below the level of the skin. Waxing goes in and it removes hair below the epidermis so it plucks up the hair from the epidermis leaving you with a smoother surface so a smoother skin but it also leaves you with longer lasting results and of course laser hair removal um, I don't know too much about it but it is definitely longer lasting and it's more expensive so waxing is kind of in that middle option if you don't have the coins to spend on laser hair removal but you want kind of a smoother or longer lasting result than shaving uh, will give you another um, benefit to waxing is that it cuts down on the amount of ingrown hairs so if you experience like darkness under your arms or anywhere like that you grow hair or if you have ingrown hairs um, shaving really doesn't do um, anything to prevent that it I feel like if you shave you will get ingrown hairs that's just been my experience I know there are products on the market that say that they will stop or prevent that and maybe that is true I don't know I've never tried any of those products um, but my hair is very coarse and if you are um, like a woman of color you probably have very coarse hair too not just on your hair but like all over your body um, so waxing is really gonna be the best option for me if I want a really smooth effect now let's get into the question that I get asked most often. Does it hurt? Yes, it does hurt. And to me, the only way I can kind of um, explain this to you, like justify why I keep doing it, even though it hurts, is just like if you were talking to someone who never got their eyebrows threaded or never got their eyebrows waxed, and kind of the pivotal question that was going to um, help them decide if they wanted to go through with it was, does it hurt? Yeah, getting your eyebrows threaded does hurt. Getting your eyebrows waxed does hurt, but you keep doing it because you like the end result. And it's the same, like when I get my armpits waxed or underarms, when I get um, my bikini area waxed, it's the same. It, yeah, it does hurt, but to me, the outcome, the outcome benefit outweighs the temporary pain that you have to endure. Now, I will point out that um, the time that you spend waxing, 
like when you're in the room with your um the wax person it does not take very long i think they actually have to cut it down to like 15 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes per area so they're only gonna they can only spend like 10 to 15 minutes waxing under your arms or your legs or whatever whatever you decide to get done the place that i go to to get waxed is european wax center i've been to a few different locations uh, around the Dallas area and I haven't had too many issues with any of them. If you find a waxer that you like at a particular location, you can request them, but you do have to make sure that you make an appointment. Um, I've never just showed up um, at a European Wax Center. Um, I don't know if they do walk-ins or not. Um, that's something that you would have to kind of like Google and find out and research. Um, but I would, I would definitely recommend making an appointment. Another um, kind of key piece of information is that they do allow an eight minute grace period. And I know you're probably like, Ash, I don't care about all this stuff. You need to know because at least you find yourself in this, in this situation. You're like, man, I wish I would have known that. Here I am to help. Um, you do have an eight minute grace period. So let's say your appointment is at 4.30 on a Wednesday. You're running late. You have until 4.38 to make it there. If you arrive eight minutes after that, like at 4.38, then you have to kind of either stay until they can kind of fit you in, which I don't know how long that would take. That would just depend on how busy they are that day, or you would have to reschedule. So just try to be very timely whenever you are making, um, making that those appointments to make sure that you can get there on time okay what to know before you get wax now um i'm gonna be talking about two specific areas because like i said i've only gotten two specific areas waxed and that is my underarm region and that is the bikini area i normally get brazilian waxes so that is everything um fyi like i said I do it for hygiene purposes, but do you, boo-boo. Like, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, the day before I get waxed, I do not like to wear deodorant with aluminum in it. Um, just because I know that the aluminum and all the other harsh chemicals in deodorant clog the pores, it makes it very, um, I don't want anything that is like, basically a, a carcinogen, a cancer-related ingredient in, in my bloodstream before I'm gonna get waxed. Because remember, waxing pulls the hair out at the very root. So your pores are gonna be open. So I just use a, des a deodorant without any um, aluminum or anything like that. And I just have this one from Schmitz here. It's the Schmitz Lavender and Sage Natural Deodorant. I got this at Sprouts. You can get it at um, Amazon, Whole Foods, um, things like that. Um, but what's even more important than that is that I use this um, at least a day or two after I get wax for the same reason. Your pores are open. You do not want to put aluminum products directly um, onto an open an open pore. Like it just it doesn't make any sense for me to do it. And I haven't researched this. It just makes me feel better to not do it. Another key note um, that's important to know when you get your arm arm pads, <laughs> armpits wax is that um, they're going to put um, kind of like a serum under your arms to kind of smooth it, to soothe it and make sure that there's no irritation. They want you to leave that on there for the rest of the day. So you're not going to be able to wipe it off and put deodorant on. And yeah, you, you may be like, that's gross, you're not wearing deodorant for the rest of the day. But literally, guys, it's it's not a big deal. And I find when I do get my armpits wax, it kind of like, it kind of, this is going to sound really, really gross, but it yanks all of the buildup. Because unless you're exfoliating under your arms pretty regularly, there's buildup from deodorant, from sweat, like your washcloth is not getting all that off, which is another reason why I really like waxing my underarms. Um, but yeah, this, that's really why I wear, I wear this natural deodorant. Um, so that is pretty much it for the underarms. Um, when talking about the bikini area, and it is important to do this no matter where you're getting waxed, you need to exfoliate. You need to exfoliate because there there's dead skin um, on the top layer of the epidermis that will prevent um, the waxer from getting the wax, the hair at the very 
root. So sometimes that dead skin can actually block um, the root, the, the follicle, I guess, of the hair. And so um, they'll wax and it will feel smooth at, at first, but they, but then you like kind of rub your hand against it or like if you scratch like against it, you'll, you'll feel hair and you don't want that. If you're paying money to get waxed, you want to make sure that they get it all, right? So this is the exfoliator or scrub that I use, but you can use whatever you want. This is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and the Scent Moroccan Rose. I just really like rose scented things. You can get this at Walmart or um, Target. I think they sell this at Ulta too. So it doesn't really matter, but make sure you exfoliate one to two days before you go get waxed. That is a huge, huge deal. Do not, <laughs> do not roll up in a waxing center uh, with dry and crusty skin. Like, just don't do it. Like, don't do it. I think before I forget, I have to mention this. I do not feel comfortable going to a nail shop and letting them wax my body. Like, especially down under, but really any part of my body, like even my underarms. Let me know if you guys have done that before and let me know your experience, but I just feel like this is too precious to have kind of like a place that does so many different things, like a nail shop that does like eyelash extensions and nails and like all this stuff. To, like, do they really know what they're doing? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Let me know um, if you guys have done that in the past, what your experience was. Maybe I'm being like too bougie. I don't know. But I, I wouldn't do it. So that's just my tip there. The last product um, that I want to share with you guys is something I actually bought at the European Wax Center a little while ago. This is the Smooth Me Ingrown, Ingrown Hair Serum and it is a 1.7 ounce container and it looks like this. Sorry, it is so bright. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, I'll try to link everything that I'm mentioning down below so that you can see it. But basically, I feel like this has tea tree oil in it. Basically soothes the skin and helps to prevent ingrown hairs. It really does work. Um, do I think you have to buy this one? Because I don't remember how much this was because I bought this a long time ago. No, you don't. There's other others out on the market. If you're looking for one, I would highly suggest that you buy one with tea tree oil because of all the benefits of tea, tea tree oil. It helps to soothe the skin. It helps to make sure it's clean, um, like it has antibacterial properties in it. Um, so I really like this one, but there's, like I said, there's many more out there on the market um, for you to choose from. So yeah, I hope that video was helpful. I hope that it answered most, if not all of your questions about getting waxed. Um, let me know if you guys have any additional questions in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer those for you. And until my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.